it's starting. I know it always says that. Okay, dokie. Now, let's see. Latest from Elizabeth. Oh, wait a minute. Dust on my phone. No, no. Where am I? Here I am. Live, simple. Oh, this is the one. Okay. Now then. Live, Live chat. Simple. Oh, this is the one. Oh. Boy, I am getting smart. Oh, I got to shut this noise off the phone. Okay, there. Now. Now I shut that down. I got to get my glasses because I can't see. I got to get my glasses because I can't see that little bitty live chat print. Where did I put? Oh, here they are. I found them. I found them. Here they are. Found it in my glasses. Now I can see the live chat. Make sure nobody. Oh, man, look at that. You see that what? Wonkiness? That's that automatic. That's an autofocus. Now I'll get rid of that. I know how to get rid of that. I'll get rid of that autofocus stuff because that stuff make you absolutely go haywire and you're gonna wind up in a in the loony bin cracker factory. You know what I'm saying? We don't want you lining waiting in, lay, uh, laid up in the cracker factory. Okay, autofocus. Uncheck that. Done. And then go back to here right here now i think we're cooking okay whoa whoa e for elizabeth this was made to be my, my friend tracy i'll put that back up there i thought i had my whole area clean <coughs> really nicely uh -oh. i think i hear my ice cream coming my ice cream. Let's see. Connie Monroe, Patricia Stubbs, Connie, Denise Neal, Amber Crafts, Crafty Hill Cheryl's Creations, Little Craft Creations by Michelle. Hi, Michelle. And then there's Pauline Whitehead. And then there's um, Christine and Dave, Dai Dai and Gail and Deborah Mayo. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at all of these peeps. Oh, and Sybil, my Sybil. My, oh, thank you. You're so welcome. I thought maybe you got pulled over by the cops or something. No, the first McDonald's I went to, I stayed in line for probably 10 minutes. And then when I, I paid and everything and got to the window and they told me they didn't have any strawberry shakes. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh. Now I went to the next one. Look at this. I see y'all tomorrow. This. Okay, I love you, darling. Don't forget tomorrow family night. This this is a strawberry milkshake. This is a straw. Oh, mamma mia, papa mia. This is great. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now. Oh, good morning. Good morning, Sybil. It must be like three o'clock in the morning over there in your Germany. And Dida, you're over there in where is it? Australia, are you? Golly. Holy smokes. Look at all these people. This is a party. This is look at all these people. This is a party and Oh my gosh, you do have a wrench, Jane. I thought maybe you should have a wrench. I gave a few wrenches out because uh, some of you need to be mechanics. Okay, now this is what we're going to make. This We are going to make something, I think. Now, first of all, this was my inspiration right here. This here book was my inspiration and i got this from sybil she made it over there in germany and then she sent it on a ship well maybe it was in the aeroplane i don't know and she sent it to me 
And I just love it, love it, love it. Now I'm looking at it again and I'm seeing, I tried to copy this. I'm trying to copy it, but I think she doesn't have as many rubber bands. I thought I needed more rubber bands than that. But see, now let me show you this. This is like rocket science right here. Every bit of this, all the pages are made with these kind of little envelopes that you get for your CDs. After I got this from Sybil, I went right to Amazon and ordered me some of these envelopes. And so then I was set. Okay, now. And so then I took a magnifying glass. And I went over the whole thing to see exactly how she put it together. And I'm looking at it again and I'm seeing I didn't look, I didn't do mine exactly like hers. But anyhow, each one of these pockets now opens at the top and you can put things in here to organize your things. Any kind of things. And like then you can look in the window to see what's in what is in in your um in your pocket now this one that she sent me has just happens to be full of unicorns because i am a unicorn most people think i'm just a humanoid but i'm really a unicorn incognito now i okay then i went ahead and i let me see look i even got tall stuff in my pockets tall stuff like this and these okay now i made one mine's got more rubber bands on it because i wanted more music but um i i just noticed on hers you don't need this many rubber bands and so but now this is really awesome because these pockets are five inches in width well they're five by five so like here in here i save my um tea pouches that the tea comes in i put them in there and there i've got a uh, embellishment i made here i have some little um fussy cut little coloring things in here here's some envelopes here's some little gems that i got in happy mail and this one, these ones have air in them. I'm saving the air. You never know when you need some extra air. And um, and then here I have even stencils. I have stencils. These, here I got some frames I cut out. Here's some painty papers for tags. And these are tags that I got started where I gessoed. I mean, I... Yeah, no, Mod Podge did pattern papers on. There's my painted leaves. There's some more fussy cuts. And see, because it's got the window in there, you can, and my granddaughter, you can actually put a beautiful picture in there. That's Kimberly. She's beautiful. And in here, I have some little envelopes. But see, you can sort your things. And and it's made to where it just stands up nicely like this just nicely like this and look all your stuff can go in there so i am going to make one right here right here in front of your eyes today okay i'm gonna put these back in here because see you can have you don't have to just put short stuff in there you can put tall stuff in there. Like, see there, I was using this stencil earlier. So I just put that in there, and that'll stay right there. I might make one just for my little stencils so that they just stand right up in there. They won't get tangled together. Okay, I'm going to put that over there. Now, this is what, we, this is what I'm doing. I have three pieces of chipboard that are five and a half by five and a half square one is the so the even the spine is going to be five and a half and the sides are going to be five and a half okay 
Got that? Got that? Write that down. Now. Now. A 75 of those envelopes at a thrift shop. Oh, you lucky girl. Elizabeth girl, you smarty pants. Thank you, Real Rain girl. Who's oh, smarty pants? Now, I didn't come up with this. This was Miss Sybil. Miss Sybil's up there somewhere. Um, i seen her. She's here. Miss Sybil is the one that come up with this. And I stole the idea. Just stole it. Like the thief in the night. I just stole it. And so now what I'm doing. I guess you could cut these flaps off if you so choose. But um, I just fold them in. I just fold them right inside. Or you could leave them out if you wanted, I guess. You know what else you could keep in these? CDs. <laughs> you could keep CDs in them if you wanted to. Oh, my goodness. Looky there. Looky there. Now, so I've got five. Wait a minute. Where's my mouse? I can't get rid of this notification. I can't see stuff. Oh, 77 viewers? Lord have mercy. Okay, now. And so I'm just going to fold these little boogers in. I'm just folding these tabs. I don't have to be in a hurry. I think I'm going to be here like for yeah, maybe two hours. I don't know. Maybe two hours. So... Gosh, and there's Tammy Carson Castle. No, Carson. Oh, now it goes so fast. Pauline. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm getting these things folded. And gosh, what a lot of people in this party. I have a bunch. That's good if you got a lot left. You know what I did? I, I actually bought, like, a lot of these, like a 1,000. I don't know what I was thinking. And so then I thought, well, maybe I could make, because I'm using 25 in here. So then I thought, well, maybe what I could do is make packets up of, like, 25, enough to make one and five of each color, of uh, five colors. So I made up packets that have 25 of these here envelopes, three of these chipboard, and it's pretty heavy chipboard, this chipboard, three of those, and a wad of rubber bands because I needed three rubber bands, size 16 rubber bands for a project I was doing. Well, I didn't know what a size 16 rubber band i didn't even know rubber bands had a size so i ordered well when i went looking for them all i could find was one pound of rubber bands i thought how many rubber bands would a pound be and i only need three and so then i found a package of only a quarter of a pound of size 16 rubber bands so I got them. Then I thought, what am I going to do with all these rubber bands? And so um, then I got this lovely album from my friend, my, my friend Sybil in Germany. And um, I seen where she used rubber bands and I thought, oh, good. I can use some of my rubber bands. And... Um, I'm still folding these things in. I have to do it 25 times. And um, so, yeah, that's what that's what I had to remember. So I put, I made these little packets up of just like what I called a starter package for these little albums because I know you're going to love them. I just know it. And so I thought, well, there's some people that may not have these. And so, and they may not have the size 16 rubber bands, you know. And um, I used to wear size 16 clothes, but I grew out of them. I mean, they shrunk. Yeah. But um, 
So I made the packages and I put them on my Etsy shelf, shelf, Etsy shelf. But I don't, I don't understand their shipping because now it says after I put them up there for three dollars, I think. Then they say that the shipping is going to be like three fifty. So then I thought, well, who the heck in their right mind? would purchase them for 350 i mean six no 650 after you add the for only 25 years so i think they'll sit there for a long time but you know what i could do i do have an idea i do have an idea what i can i could probably add some more some things to the envelope to the package to make it more worth all that shipping. Wait a minute. I gotta get a drink of them in the milkshake. Mmm. Mmm. Strawberry milkshake. Okay, you all. My fingernails don't look good. But let me tell you something. I had, I usually get all just wonderful comments from people on my videos. And um, because people are nice. Usually crafting people are very nice. But um, I had a I had a comment yesterday or the day before where somebody told me that the that my video was good, but I need to clean and file my fingernails. Well, when I was employed, before I started working, I used to go get, oh, thank you. I love my bracelet. It's in a mess right now because I even wear it in the shower and it gets more raggedy. But, um, but, you know, I used to have my nails done. Every two weeks I'd go and get these fake nails and refills and all that stuff on there so that I would look, you know snazzy to go to work well after i retired i quit doing that and i started doing more crafts and arts and i and i do a little bit of everything so i'm always in paint or in glue or in something and so my fingernails shows it like right now this one's dyed with because i was i was inking i had some scraps of paper like just a few minutes ago, I had all these scraps of paper because I was cutting things out. And so then I had all these scraps. So then I took out my oxide inks and just colored them all up because now I'll use these for, for, um, well, for stuff, you know, I'll use them for stuff. But anyhow, so I have these, you know, ink in my nails and I usually don't, cut my thumbnails because I use them as tools. Your thumbnails, you know, to pull tape, covers off and stuff. You need them for tools. And so, okay, this is what I'm going to do. So anyhow, but I went to, and I saw so I left her a nice message. I told her, thank you for your suggestion. But then I kind of explained to her how, you know, I don't care what my nails look like. And I'm not here to give anybody like a um, fashion show on my nails. This not is not like a beauty advice. No beauty advice comes on this here show. Wait a minute. Where did I put my... I got I to gotta see something here. I really thought I had everything all together and nice and ready and um, but actually now that I look I do not have the tape in which I want to use oh heck I'm not going to worry about it usually now I'll put I'll lay these I'll lay these three down the front, the middle, I mean the spine and the back cover. And I leave about um, about the amount that, you know, the 
the um width of, of a card there of the card there. You know, so maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe a tat less than a quarter of an inch. And that's what I do. Now, first of all, I'm going to cover the back. Now this is what I'm going to cover it with because this now is 15 and a, 16 inches long. Yeah, 16-ish inches long. Five and a half, five and a half is 11. And then five, go away here from here, Martha. Go on, Martha, get off my new plant. And so, yeah, it's wide. It's This is wider than a, like a 12-inch piece of paper. So if you have, if you have like your designer paper that you want to cover your cover with, then you may not be able to do it with, I mean, you'd have to piece it together. Well, I, now like this one that I made, it's got like a bear on it and a cabin. Do you know what that is? That is this. This is, this is, um, Wallpaper border in which I got over to the thrift shop. But I have seen that you can get it also. Sometimes they have like at the discount stores, like at the family dollar and that kind of thing. Dollar general. Sometimes you can find these rolls like for a dollar. And they're just amazing. This one here also, the thrift shop. And look at this one, Coca-Cola. I love it. So I'm going to make this one out of Coca-Cola. This one's going to be Coca-Cola. Now, I'm. you know what I think I can do? Is if anybody does buy any of those packages over to the Etsy store, I'll put some of this in with it too. The only problem is... Well, maybe I can roll it. Yeah, I could roll it, although it'd be rolled pretty tight. Rather than fold it, I could roll it. And then if you want to do it with this Coca-Cola, because I got pretty much there. Yeah, I got pretty much. But if I run out of the Coca-Cola, then I have the bears. All right, now. So that might be what I'll do. But now I need to have, I need to have it to be, what did I say? 5, 10, 15, 16 and a half inches. Oh, a little bit more. 17 inches plus the overlap, 18, 19. Okay, 20 inches. Let's go for 20 inches. So here, that's about 20 inches right here. So I'm just going to cut this up like this. Now, now I got 20 inches. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? Look at the Coca-Cola ladies. It's like vintage. I love that. Okay, now. Now, see, I am I am not good about looking at these. Um, looking at these chats. Hi, Mary Jane. Oh my goodness, Mary Foster. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Okay, I'm not good at looking at the, um, Stacy was just talking about that, how some people kind of get angry when you don't see their messages, and um, too bad there's not like a ding or something, like a ding for the messages. You know what, let me see, what am I going to do? Look at now I have another creepy bug, dead now. Um. Wait a minute. J just a second. I got a rich over here. I'm going to just... Whoa! I just did a wheelie on my chair. Now, what I'm going to do here, just to be sure that my... my um That my... um My little boards stay where I want them to be. I'm going to just use a little bit of washi tape. And I'm going to so that I have it so it's kind of straight 
And you need that little space in the middle so it'll bend. Otherwise, it won't bend. We want things to be bendable. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to put some washi tape on there. Isn't that pretty washi tape? And then we'll go over here and do the same thing. Washi tape. But this um, this wallpaper border, that's the way to go. That is the way to go. Then you can, um, for something like this, because it's as long as a rope, and everything's good. Need a secretary. I need a secretary. That's great. You know, I watch one girl. I watch, and her daughter always reads the um, reads the chat. Maybe I should get my husband over here to read the chat. Oh, there's Tracy Turner. One ringy dingy, two ringy dingy. Tracy's the one that made this e for me. Thank you, Tracy. I love it. She made that for me. Okay, now, now what I'm going to do, <coughs> I'm going to use this here tape, and I'm going to put this tape across here. This tape is actually carpet tape. Carpet tape. So I'm going to put this carpet tape across here like this. I'm not going to cover the whole thing. I don't think I need to cover the whole thing because then I'm going to flip this over. Okay, wait a minute. Now I got now I got that that this I'm going to I'm going to unglue it and then put it I'm going to untape it and then put it over this way. I got to try Okay, wait a minute. I got to look at this. Make sure. Okay, yeah. It wants to roll up on me, but that's okay. Once I get it once I get it over here and then it won't roll up. Okay, so I wanna I think you know what I you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this pencil and I'm going to make a line because I'm eyeballing it and I just want it to stay straight. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm, now I'm going to pull. See, this is what I say. Your your nail, your thumbnail is a tool. And you know what? The fake nails, for me anyway, they're too thick. And you can't use them fake nails for a tool. Okay, so now I got that carpet tape exposed. And I'm going to turn this over and use that line I just put. So it'll be straight. And then put that down like this. Okay, now I got that on there. See, this is really a simple thing to make. Look at there. Now. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut these corners like this. So I don't have that extra bulky stuff on the corners. And just like this, just like this. Okay, wait a minute. I had to get a drink of my milkshake. Oh, Ruth Bussy was on laughing. She was funny. I liked her. She was funny. Lily Tomlin. Lily Tomlin. She's the one that sat in that big rocking chair, wasn't she? She'd sit in that big rocking chair. And she'd talk like a little kid. She just would talk like a little kid. One ringy dingy. Oh yeah, she was also the that Ernestine. Yeah, on um, on laughing was it Ernestine or or was she on Hee Haw? I don't know, but she's funny. She's like my hero. Mm -mm -mm. 
Yummers, yummers. Okay. Hi, Sammy. My Sammy's down there taking a little nap. Needs to get me a little paper towel. I'll put that under there. Okay, now. One ringy dingy. Two ringy dingy. Three ringy dingy. Four ringy dingy. I don't know which one of these tapes is stronger. I guess they're all tape. They're all tape. This one here I bought because it had my name on it. Elizabeth tape. Edith Ann was on laughing. Another one of my heroes. I know it. I know it. Okay. See, I'm going to put this here right there. I'm going to put this here. Now, you see, you can glue. If you don't have this here tape, which I normally just glue things, and you can glue this just as fine. You can glue. You can glue it, or you can tape it. Whatever your heart desires. There's no rules. No rules. So, okay. So I'm putting tape along the edge of the cardboard, of the chipboard here. And that double-sided tape. And then I'm putting some more double-sided tape right here. I, You know what I got to do? It's like a... I gotta get. I do got a big TV hanging from the ceiling over there, and the hubster did. But the thing is, it's not facing me. It's facing the other way. And he did buy a new hanger up or doohickey. And we don't hardly watch TV, so I really what I should do is get it on that swirly thing so I can turn it this way. Then I could have my computer screen. Sugar bath, honey bunch. Um, I could get my computer screen to be on the TV, and then maybe I could see the chat better. Because I got my phone laying beside of me. Oh, Susan Hill, my friend. Oh yes, ma'am. Oh goodness, Susan's my friend. Actually, she's my twin sister. We decided. We decided. If anybody ever, I didn't want that there. If anybody ever want, listen to our chats that we have, they'd probably put us in the loony bin. In the loony bin, in the cracker factory. That's where they'd put us. It's really a little nutty. Okay, now. Now I'm going to just turn these. Now that I got all that tape on there all nicely like that. Now what I'll do is. You know what they say? I've heard this. Somebody told me this. That if you take your white glue and go right along the edge. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Right along the edge of where the rubber meets the road. Well, not really that. It's where the chipboard meets the paper there. If you put a little stream of glue right along there, and then, maybe I should have took this off first. And then, yeah, I think I should have took this paper off first but I didn't because I don't know why because okay there see now then and then it folds up better when you go to fold it over like this when you go fold it over like this oh and also you're supposed to start in the middle I started on the edge I don't follow directions well so here here, um, don't expect very good directions when you come to visit with me because I'm not real good on the directions because I don't I don't follow directions very well, and um, 
I go up when they say down and in when they say out. That's what I do. But hey, I've made it to 68 years old by not following directions. Oh, thank you, Gail. And Susan. Oh, see, Susan, you have a wrench too. I gave you a wrench. Gail's got a wrench. Jane's got a wrench. Mm. Okay, now. Yeah, this time I. Oh, sounds like the dogs are getting put to bed. Papa's putting them to bed. Snack time. Okay, now. They're good little doggies. Okay, now I'm going to start in the middle, like the directions, like, a, like I'm a professional. Like I'm a professional, I start at the middle. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I got them two pieces done. And then, and then, and then you take your little bone folder and you fold that little corner kind of in sort of there. So it's kind of like inish, not like an Audi, but an inny. You just get it in there. And then, and then we'll pull this off the tape protection, the tape protector stuff, liner, whatever you call it. And then we'll put a little bit of glue. What you doing, Papa? You can't get Sammy. Sammy sleeps here. Oh, you're bringing her a snack. Okay. Oh, uh, Zoe, you've got to go night night, honey. She's right there, hiding from you. Wait a minute, Zoe. Just a minute. Come here, Zoe. Look at Zoe hiding. She just lays there like she's paralyzed. Just a minute. Just a minute. I gotta. Oh, oh. Uh, this is Zoe. This is Zoe. Zoe, look up there at the camera. See, this is Zoe. She hides. She hides at bedtime because she wants to sleep with her mom. Because she gets to sleep with her mom during the day at nap time. See, she's a, a miniature dachshund. Okay, say goodnight, Sam, uh, Zoe. Okay, here you go, Papa. Uh, yeah, she's my baby. She's one of my babies. I got four babies, actually. Okay, now we got that one. Now, and yeah, I love my little doll. Oh, now wouldn't you know it? Whoever that woman was that left me that message, she'd be having a cow now. I just broke that piece of fingernail. I'm gonna fix it. I'm fixing it. Where'd that go? Well, it's somewhere. How do you end up in this book? And this is my most important one because I'm right-handed. So, well, forevermore. Okay. Whenever you don't have your thumbnail, it kind of throws a monkey wrench into everything. Now, let me see. I'm just getting this. Okay. See my mat? I got it in the mail. Finally. And I like it. One thing I was surprised about this mat, I thought that this white piece was going to be constantly that other material. But it's not. It's glass. It's only that other material if you add that piece on it. So the whole thing is glass. I was very happy to know that. That was like an extra surprise. And I like my mat. I think it's pretty doggone sexy or something. I don't know. Maybe that's not a good word. There's Vicky. Freedom Deep. You are too much. I'm too much. I'm too much something. Yeah, my kids tell me the same thing. Okay, now look. There we go. I have that. Then you have to take your little bone folder. And you have to kind of just push that down in the middle. Now, 
That's my look at that. Isn't that awesome? The Coca-Cola ladies. And that is wallpaper. So y'all make sure you look for wallpaper. Um, like, I mean, I, I bet even if you were to buy a roll of new wallpaper border, I bet it wouldn't be all that much money. It wouldn't be like going, it wouldn't be like going to, to the, if, I mean, if they start selling at the Hobby Lobby, well, then yeah, it'll be expensive. Okay, now what I want to do is I'm going to line this. So I have this here piece of paper that I'm going to use, which is really cool. It's like, um, it's kind of vintage too. See, since this is vintage ladies, then I thought this would go good in the middle. Extract of vanilla, sugar of lead. Hmm. Palace drugstore. Oh, imperial tooth wash. Tooth preserver antiseptic. Dip the brush in water, sprinkle six to 12 drops of the wash on the brush and apply in the usual way. Okay, we'll do that. Mm -hmm. Chloroform liniment. Well, you mean that they sold chloroform liniment? Okay, I better get busy. I tend to. Emmett. I tend to just want to talk because I got a big fat mouth. Okay, now I'm going to cut this at exactly five inches. I want this to be five inches. Five inches, five inches, five inches, five inches. Now, see this. Oh, forevermore. This, um, blade on this dumaflagi is probably dull there we go that cut then i want to have another five inches because i need another little piece five inches because that's only 12 inches long and i need it to be 15 and a half or whatever it was and then we go like this there now i have two pieces now and the extra is cool. I can make cool tags out of that. We'll put that right over there in that stack of stuff. And then I'll move this. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? While I'm cutting, I'm gonna cut this too. Because this is going to make the um this is going to make the zigzag, the um accordion fold. Okay, now so I gotta cut that. At five inches. Okay, five inches. Oh, come on. Be nice to me. And cut. It just doesn't want to cut. I usually use my, like, my big old guillotine cutter. It's like, kind of looks like maybe I got it out of an old prison or something. But it's sitting over there on the other in the other area and I don't feel like getting up. Well, see what I should have done was cut this first. Okay, now there, now we're done with that. And I'll put that piece right there. And now we'll put this nasty little thing right down here. Oh, I've got, don't, I've got a, one that works. It's just not right here. Mm -mm. Mm. Boy, that's good. Now I'm going to take this. Oh, you know what? I didn't want that five. I wanted it five and a half. Dig gum it. But you know what? It's going to have to be five. I did want it to be five and a half. And then it would have been the same width. But it's, um, it's not. And so it, it's not. And I'm going to corner round this like this these two corners okay it'll be okay because it's got like it's got like enough border here that it won't it won't matter it'll be fine it's gonna be fine so i'm going to let me see i am going to 
See, this is why I can never follow directions. Bean burritos. Oh, I love bean burritos. They backfire on me really bad, though. I'm going to put some more of this carpet tape. I'm going to put it on here. And I like this carpet tape because it's pretty... It pretty, it's pretty tough, you know, it, it holds good and it's a lot cheaper than buying this. If you buy double-sided tape this wide, it's going to cost you an arm and a leg in your first board. That stuff's expensive. But if you use just, um, if you use this carpet tape, well, then you're cooking on gas. Okay, I think I could use glue, but I'm going to go ahead and use this double-sided tape again. I'm usually just a real glue user, but I'm, right now I'm just going to use... Now, at the edge, I'm putting this skinnier tape. And and why? I don't know. I don't know. Just doing it. Just putting it. Just putting it. Oh. Let me see. Oh, see, you know, when I, when I just take a glance at the, um, when I just take a glance at the chat, you'll just chat amongst yourself. I, I'm not very good. I'm not very, see, I'll get better at this. Now, if I had, I got to figure out how I can do it, do the chat on my, on my, um, on my Kindle, I, if, if I can. Because then that would be bigger, and I could put it right here in front of me, and I might could see it better. But I'm a little bit, um, I'm a little bit electronically, electronically um, challenged. I'm a little bit everything challenged. But some of it, people haven't realized yet. So I'm good. I'm good. In the hood. Okay, so now I'm going to pull these tops off of here. Let me see. How long have I been? Oh, only 45 minutes. Not, not bad. Oh, rotary cutters. Oh, yeah, I love rotary cutters. Yeah, I'm gaffing tape is good for one-sided tape. Never thought of using carpet tape. Cool idea. Thank you, Carol. It is a real cool idea. Okay. See there, I did just see a couple of the chat messages while I was pulling tape covers off. So... Now, when Tim Holtz, I watched, I watched a video of Tim Holtz and where he was pimping hit, not pimping. That's not the word where he was. I get so many words from my husband that just, I shouldn't use when he, I was watching Tim to, at, when he was advertising, maybe that's a better word, his, um, uh, this, this mat. And he said one good thing about this mat was that um, that you you don't get the mat all covered up with your stuff. You, it stays on the outside of the mat. But he's wrong. He was wrong there because I don't have, I still have stuff all over on the mat. Okay. Are you going to bed? You're going to the war zone. Oh, the North 40. Okay. Miss Mooch. I love you too, darling. Good night. And I'll be in there whenever the heck I get there. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut this. I better use this little cutter so I get a straight cut. But um, it needs to be about this much. Yeah, about that much. 
Okay. See, I did good. I did good at the about there. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna make that and round that corner. I like these corner rounders. These um, we are memory keepers, trapezoidal corner chompers. This one will make a half inch corner or a quarter inch corner. This is pretty cool apparatus. And um, okay, so see now I'm gonna put that one on there. I'm gonna put that one on there and. I'll put carpet tape again to get that thing to stick. And then, there we go. Then I'll use this double. I don't know how well, you know, I would use the glue actually, but I don't know how well glue will stick to wallpaper. I'm thinking this double sided tape will just stick a little bit more better a little bit more better gosh i hope my english teacher isn't watching she's <laughs> at least i didn't say a little bit more gooder okay i need to pull this off of here yeah i think it is a better choice scale I'm not sure when you're not sure okay now I, I went ahead and pulled that off because this piece has to go over some of that already so make sure it'll stick nicely and then so see, these are patchwork. This is patchwork together, which you could do this on the outside if you don't have the wallpaper border. That's long as a rope. And um, and um, it, but but you'd have to put it together. You'd have to like patchwork it together. Like patch atoms. Okay, there we go. Now that's the inside. So now let me get that and let me. Oh, you know what, Sybil? I am so happy that you sent me this book. Well, not this one. This one. This one was here the whole time. It just was not assembled. There we go. There's my covers. Okay, now what I've got to do. Now what I'm going to do. Now we're getting to. Oh, now I have to get my. Um, Dumaflagi. This thing. I guess I should take this to the kitchen sink one day and wash it. Now, let me put some of this stuff out of my way. See, I do really make a mess. When I'm crafting, I make a horrible mess. Yes, Sybil, Sybil did, Susan. Sybil sent me a bunch of awesome stuff. I owe her my left kidney. That's what I owe her, my left kidney. Okay, now I'm going to take these two chunks that I cut at five inches. I really should have cut them at five and a half. But five inches is good. Oh, no, actually, five is good. Five and a half would have been too big. Okay, so take that back. Now I'm going to take my little, this here, weapon right here. Um. And I am going to score this at every half inch. At every half inch, I'm scoring this. All the way down to the end of the thing. Every half inch. And this is going to be the accordion fold that holds the pages 
for the organization no the organization album you can organize things in it love notes gas receipts traffic tickets you could put a lot of stuff in here you could hide your money in there you could use one pocket for your one dollar bills use another pocket for your five dollar bills ten dollar hundred dollar bills and your five hundred dollar bills yeah you could use it for that don't let anybody tell you you can't now we're going one half inch on both of these one half and one half now oh you know this kind of when you're old and creaky and rusty need an oil change doing this actually can make your shoulder hurt gives me something to complain about i love to have things to complain about my shoulder right now is saying wait a minute are you almost done which i am mr shoulder oh oopsie doopsie oopsie 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 that one almost went crooked okay now holy smokes holy hannah okay now i'm going to do these up and down. Now I'm going to fold these accordion like. New Zealand. So many people watch from New Zealand. That's amazing. Carrie is cracking up. Oh no, Carrie's going to end up in the cracker factory. She's cracking up. Me and my friend Nikki. I have friend Nikki too. I don't know if Nikki's in here. But now Nikki, she lives over in the UK, in the United Kingdom. And, um, oh, Tania's in New Zealand, too. Wow. What? Glad to see you're wearing your sassy panties today. You betcha. Sassy panties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I buy them in packs of 30. Uh -huh. When you get old, when you start getting old, and if you laugh or move or bend over, any of those things, yeah, you tend to spring a leak. Yeah. So I get the sassy panties for sure. Okay, now I got that one folded. Now I need a, a drink of my mixed drink. Mm. Boy, is that good. I don't usually have ice cream anymore. We used to have ice cream like almost every day. But then my sugar, <laughs> my sugar wasn't doing really well. So I cut out the um, ice cream and my cholesterol uh, was not doing too good. So my doctor suggested I cut out the ice cream. I know I need to teach that doctor something. And so now, every once in a while, I just crave it. Just got to have ice cream. So my daughter went and got us a milkshake. That's the first one I've had. I've been in the six months that I've had ice cream. So that's not bad. Okay, I'm still folding this stuff. Like back and forth and forth and back. and up and down and in and out and um okay 
then then you'll see then you're going to really see it come together. There we go. Mountains and valleys. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue. I'm going to put this glue on this end right here. I'm gluing this end, and I'm going to glue it to this one. So it ha it's like, well, Elizabeth Marie. There we go. Now we'll get it. Now I'm getting it. Now I'm, oh, good night. Okay. Now I got to squeeze it. Squeeze it so that glue. So I'll just get a drink of this. I know Stacy, she was eating cantaloupe. That made me hungry for cantaloupe too, but I should have probably got cantaloupe instead of a milkshake. Okay, now you see how that looks pretty long. Well, it's got to be that long. Okay, now let's put that over there. Now here's my little envelopes that I folded. See, now we're getting toward the end. Now you got to make sure now that you know this is going to be at the top and this is going to be the bottom so you want to make sure all the openings of the envies are at the top so let's see should i make it you know my last one i made i made it i alternated the colors i think this time i'm going to i'm going to um not alternate them i'm going to use the same colors, and then I could, because when you do that, then I can say, okay, the red ones are all going to be for fussy cuts. The green ones might be all for tags. The next color might be all for envelopes or something, you know, just different things. Speeding tickets. I don't get speeding tickets because I don't drive. Mm. All right, so... You know what? I'm going to start back here. I'm going to start at the back so that they won't be in my way. And I'm going to put the glue only on the back part. The back part. Okay. What I'm saying by back is what's going to glue the back of the, the, back of the um, envelope. See? So now that's going to just glue right there on the back. Okay, you know, we could use the double-sided tape on here as well. But this glue dries pretty fast. And so then I'll go with the next one. And making sure that the that they're all facing upwards so the pocket opens at the top. Okay, I am a little slow, but since this is like live stream, I have seen, well, not mentioning any names, but um, this person has like a bunch of poodles, so I won't mention her name, but um, she has stayed on like sometimes for like nine hours. She may have even went more than that. I don't know how she can do it. I'd go nuts. Well, I wouldn't go nuts. I might eat nuts. But yeah, she has done some marathon live streaming. That's my dear. St oh, that's right. I wasn't going to mention her name. My dear Stacy. Not too late. I mentioned her name. Did she ever come in here? I know that she had to um, go and take care of her baby puppies. I just love her puppies. Oh, my gosh, they're so cute. And then she dresses them all up in such cute little clothes. 
I dressed one of my doggies up, my little tiny one. Is she down here? Yep, Sammy's down there. Sammy's my littlest one. She's 17 years old. And she only weighs six pounds and she's short haired dachshund. So she needs clothes to stay warm. So I have dressed her up. I love Tigger. Tigger's the best. He is the alpha dog of that family. Tigger's the first dog I've ever seen that could actually smile. Tigger smiles. You see him smiling right at the end of her little, little beginning thing. At the end of her beginning. You have to go do dishes. Dishes? Oh, man. They'll be there tomorrow. You don't have to do dishes. They'll be there tomorrow. They're not going to walk away. They're not going to do themselves. I sort of do dishes. I put them in the dishwasher. I used to not put them in the dishwasher. I used to do them by hand and just, but then I figured if I didn't use the dishwasher, it would probably, it would, the dishwasher might go up the river. It might break or something, dry rot. So I started using it. When I first had this house built 23 years ago, See, we first lived, we bought this property 43 years ago. And on it, we put a single wide mobile home because we were young and we were really poor. And um, so that's what we had. Two and a half acres and a single wide mobile home. And But then after we were in the mobile home 20 years, well, the mobile home had seen better days. So we knew we had to do something different. So right next to it on the same piece of property, we built a house. Well, we didn't actually build it. The builder built it. But when the builder was asking us about what, you know, what we want, I said, well, what I want you to do is go buy a dishwasher, stick it in the middle of the field, and build a house around it. <laughs> That's what I told him. That's all I wanted was a dishwasher. But at the time, you know, I was tired of doing dishes. When you're raising a half dozen youngins and milking goats and taking care of chickens and feeding the hogs and the rabbits. I mean, we had so many animals. And, and then I had to do dishes. And then I used to think that I had to bake all our own bread and everything. I don't know. I thought I was Laura Ingalls or something. And so I worked hard. And so when I got my new house, I said, just put a dishwasher in the middle of the field and build a house around it. And um, that's what they did. Well, sort of. But now I don't have those children that I'm cleaning up after. The only animals we have is six chickens. No more goats to milk. No more pigs to chase after. We had this one pig. His name was Arnold. And he was supposed to be a miniature pot-bellied pig. He was given to us. And so I said, yeah, that'll be cool. And, well, he was just like a little baby. And um, so at the first, we had him in the house because he only weighed like five pounds. He was just a real miniature, cutest little thing. And we got him in the wintertime. We couldn't let him be outside to freeze to death. Well, that's right. This is Florida. But, yeah, we do get cold, freezing weather in Florida. But, anyway. So, well, then once he started really getting big, then we said, yeah, um, I think this pig has to live outside. And so we built him a really nice pig pen. It was a nice pig pen. And, um, but Arnold would just dig out from under it. And then he'd come up and knock at the door. I'm serious. He knocked at the door. But that wasn't the worst thing. The kids were all still little. And, um, so they were catching the bus. 
Well, doggone it, if Arnold wouldn't, you know, I didn't go to the bus stop with him. It was just at the end of the driveway. And so, and they were, the kids were, they, you know, they were only 20 feet away. And so I didn't follow them out there. And, and so then I'd hear the bus come. And I said, oh, good, they're getting on the bus. And then I'd hear the, the bus driver honking the horn. And so I'd have to go out there and get Arnold. Um, I, I was, um, I'd get Arnold off the bus. Arnold would get on the bus and um, I'd have to go get Arnold back off the bus. <laughs> the kids loved it because Arnold wanted to go to school, but the bus driver said she didn't think it'd be a very good idea for Arnold to go to school. So I'd have to get Arnold off the bus. That was amazing that dog, that wasn't a dog, it was a pig, but... He got pretty big. Okay, now see, now I only got 23 on there. How come I only got 23 on there? Maybe I was just guessing when I said 25. Okay, now, see how they look? They're just all, now I'm going to squish them. See how I just glued them all on just the back? Thingy, majiggers, thingy, majiggers. Okay, well, this only holds 23, not 25. But if you made it longer, you could put, if you made the zigzag part longer. Okay, I'm just now squeezing. I just put it all together and I'm squeezing to make sure that the glue, that the glue, okay, I don't need any more glue. So I got to put my lid in here so it doesn't dry. I'm done with glue. Now this is magic because now you, you normally when you make a, any kind of an album, then you got to figure out how to fit the, how to get this spine glued to the, uh, you know, get the spine glued to the, this part glued to the spine or whatever I'm trying to say. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here we go. This is the amazing thing. There. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I invented this all by myself. <laughs> Not really. I'm, I'm. I didn't. I'm lying. I got these size 16 rubber bands. But um, now what I'm going to do is I am going to take the rubber bands. I'm putting one rubber band. There we go. I'm going to take another rubber band. Flip that page. Put the rubber band around. Now, I noticed that on Sybil's, she didn't put a rubber band on each one. But since I got 16 jillion rubber bands, I am putting it, I'm putting them on each one. See there? And I put another rubber band. And then I flip the page. Put another rubber band. Let me see if we if we um yeah. Oh, I had to hold it up there and look through my bifocals. Now and there, see they'll fit. The rubber bands just go right in there. There might be an easier way of putting these on, but I haven't figured it out if there is. And then here, and so I'm just putting a rubber band on each one of the, uh, in each one of the, the valley folds. You could probably learn to play music on this thing. Play music. Like on a banjo. It'd be called a 35, a 25 string banjo or whatever. 23. I love this thing. I love this idea. 
because you know i have got like i have got things i've cut out like i've cut images out of um greeting cards i have cut out like words out of magazines that i might use what is the purpose of the rubber bands the rubber bands are actually holding this whole thing to the spine of the book see the rubber bands are back here they're holding it to the spine of the book that's the reason for the rubber bands and now if you didn't use rubber bands if you don't have rubber bands you could use you could tie it with string like you could use um embroidery floss and and tie them each or and you don't have to go in between each one you can you can um go in every like three i think the one that that sybil made she went between each three and put a rubber band but you could use yarn or different fibers or something to tie them in and which then if they were tied along the spine then if they were tied along the spine that would be awesome you know you could cover this even with fabric you don't need to have wallpaper you don't need to have it you could cover it with fabric and make a nice little album but these i just love how you know you can just set it up on the on your desk in your workspace and you could actually if you have a shelf you could make 70 11 of these and have them all for different different um different things like different categories of things and see i'm just going with a rubber band on every every accordion fold the rubber band and that is what's holding it holding the whole thing together and like i say you could use string you could use yarn you could tie it with most anything but i like the idea of the rubber bands and i really like it because i had bought because i needed three rubber bands i needed i ended up buying a jillion and a half because that's how many's in the bag counted them i didn't count them i'm lying yeah you cannot really believe everything that i say Oh, it's Kelly's birthday. That's right. Kelly's birthday. She's 22. I don't know how old she is. I'm guessing. Was the dinner good? Movie good? What did you watch? What movie did you watch? Happy birthday to I'd sing happy birthday to Kelly, but Stacy already did. I can't sing like Stacy. I'm not a professional singer. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Dear Kelly, happy birthday to you. That was, I was trying to do my, um, my, um, my, um, my, um, who's that? Marilyn Monroe. Who was that? Was that, the, is that who sang to, um, John F. Kennedy on his birthday? Okay, now I got to get my, my rubber bands are all on, but I'm going to get them evened out here. Evened out. Oh, it's my arthritic thumbs here. Complaining. They're complaining. Now, I'm getting my rubber bands on the back. Just even, Steven. 
well, not very well. Let me just get them all. Even Steven. I just love this thing. See, when I got this in the mail from my little friend, Sybil, I was just, it near about knocked my socks off because I was so impressed with this. Now, and I think Miss Sybil came up with this. Now, I, I think she came up with this on her own. Now, I don't think Miss Sybil has a, a, a website, I mean, or a YouTube channel. She should, though. I think all she does is crafts her little fingers to the bone. I'm getting my, my rubber bands. I'm just getting my rubber bands lined up pretty. Now, like I say, if you were to have... um. Well, it might take me a while to get them all right. All good. Let me get these moved down a little bit more. But um, like if you were to use yarn or fibers of some kind, and if you like put them on and tied them all like at the top, and then you'd have like a fringe. Then you'd have like a fringe. But see this way we have the rubber bands. But now if you wanted to. You could put even something over the rubber bands. If you wanted to camouflage them. I see that my. um My. I got a little tear here. So what I'm going to have to do there is I'm going to have to put, I'm going to put on the two corners there, on the two folds, I'm going to put some washi tape or duct tape. I have both to, to make that a little bit stronger. Let's see what I have. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I have this. This is duck glitter tape that I got from my friend. I got this from my friend, from my friend Lorraine. She gave me this because it's purple. She gave me a whole bag full of purple things. You know, I just realized I don't have any purple envelopes. If that isn't just a monkey's uncle. Now. So what I'm going to do here, because I got that little crack there. I don't think this one cracked. No, that one didn't crack. This one cracked, though. So maybe this is a little bit... Oh, where's the end? I can never find the end. Oh, it's might be because I need a drink. Duct tape doesn't stick if it gets warm. I thought I thought duct tape would stick to everything. Well, I could put washi, but I thought duct tape was stronger. Ugh, there's no end on this. Lorraine, I can't find an end on this here roll of tape you gave me. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Let me see. Oh, this doesn't feel real sticky. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put it on here for right now. And um, if it doesn't stick, if it gives me stress, I'll take it back off. And I'll use something else. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and give it the benefit of the doubt and put it on there. Now, right, wait, right now it's sticking, but we're going to see if it comes loose later or not. And if it does, I'll do something different. 
But I would, yeah, this doesn't eat, although it says duct tape, it doesn't, it's not that, like, that silvery gray duct tape. It It's thin. This is much thinner. This is more like a washi. But it sure is beautiful. So I hope that it sticks. But all we can do is try it and find out. Like thusly. Okay, now. And so then I have that on there like this. Now. So, and then that's the only way that these, I guess what you could do is you could take this very last one and glue it to the back cover. But I don't really see any reason why I would have to do that right now. I don't see any reason. Although I do have a little extra flappage there. I'm just going to leave them like that, though. Now, one thing I didn't do was, one thing you could do, one thing that was on, um, on the one that, that, um, Sybil made was she had ribbon that tied so you could tie it. But in for myself, the way I'm going to use it is I don't, I won't need to tie it. See, I, um, I, I will want it to kind of sit open like this. To where I can always just flip through and find what I'm looking for. But like if you have your tags, like you got one size tag in here, you know, your e either your finished tags or your unfinished tags, you know, and then like you could have like all these to be tags, but all different sizes. And then these could all be, you know, like if you're cutting out. Things on your, um, things like on your um, cricket, then sometimes it can be a pain in the derriere to have to drag out the cricket, get the right cartridge. Well, mine has cartridges anyway. I got the older one. And then get everything set up and cut out. So now if you cut things, if you're cutting out, say, flowers, then go ahead and cut out a blue jillion of them. And then you can just sort them in this organizer. This is the best. And like I say, you don't have to. It can be if you have things that are taller than the five-inch pocket. You that's okay that you know because they can stick up and they're they can look beautiful. So and then you can decorate like um you can decorate the covers and you could decorate the back. There's a lot of things you could do even to the back, even with the rubber band showing. And like I say, you don't have to use rubber bands, you can use string. And do you know what you could do also is um, I just thought of this one too. If you took a piece of chipboard this same size, um, here I've got five and a half by five and a half. If you took a piece of chipboard this same size and attached these pockets to only the piece of chipboard and not the binding, of the book, not the spine. You could attach them the same way with string or rubber bands or whatever, and then glue. Once these are attached to that extra piece, you could glue the whole thing to the inside of the spine, and then your strings or your rubber bands would not show on the outside. If you don't like that look, but I think that look is awesome. My own humble opinion. In my own humble opinion, I love that. So, so what do you all think?
you would use glue on the accordion fold. Um, oh, ATCs, yes. To the AT, I love it. The windows, you know. So if you did have ATCs in there, then they would show through the windows, and they would be perfect. They would be beautiful. Yes, I like it. So, like I said, I did put up, I did put um, a collection of envelopes because I have so many, and um, the chipboard and the rubber bands. They're in a collection in my Etsy store for $3, but I don't understand why Etsy charges $3.50 for shipping. They put the shipping. I don't put the shipping. So um, if anybody does order that, order the kit. It's just a starter kit. It's not the whole thing. But I will put in... I will put in some extras, like maybe I can roll up some of this, this, um, if you like the Coca-Cola or I could, you know, I could something, I'll just, I would add more to it because it just seems, and I don't know enough about Etsy is how to, I got to talk to Stacy cause she knows more, but, um, somehow I don't, I, it seems like the least amount of shipping they charge is three fifty. So if you're, and I know Stacy sells little bitty things and it, that doesn't cost three fifty. So I'll have to, um, and I did add another collection of lace on my Etsy store too. It's a spring, all spring colors. So there's lace and there's ribbon. And there's flowers and there's beads. So there's this, the spring colors are in there too. I put them up today. And then I'm going to work on some more, some more of my lace because I really got a lot of lace. So I'm going to get some more of that. And um, Tracy loves the Coca Cola. Yep. And then Carol loves the bears. Yeah, they will combine the shipping. So if you buy some lace and buy the paper, maybe. I mean, I'm then buy the the kit. I don't. I don't know how they work. That I'm. I'm very new at the Etsy thing, and so and it takes me a while to learn all that stuff because I'm a little slow. I'm a little slow. So, yeah, I, I, and I do, I do need to make money because I am saving. We, I'm saving up. Um, my granddaughter is getting married in um, July 27th. And so we are all going to Alabama for her wedding but what we're going to do is we're going to rent a 15 passenger van there's four families going we're renting the van and then we'll all split it um then we'll all honey i got the i ordered the envelopes from amazon and um oh thank you pauline you paid all that crazy shipping oh my goodness and yeah, the rub, I, I could, the wallpaper, I'm going to stick some wallpaper in there for you, girl. But anyway, um, yeah, we're going to, but then we're going to split the cost of the van. So that will cost each family 150. And then we're going to split the cost of the motel room we're staying in. And so then it doesn't cost any of us a whole lot, a whole lot of money. To go but i'm so excited to go up there to see my granddaughter get married it's going to be just absolutely beautiful but there'll be four drivers in the van so so um then that's not counting the hubster me and the hubster since we're the old people of the family we all we have to do is chill in the back seat 
it'd be cheaper to rent an RV. You know, I didn't think about that. If we rent an RV, she's getting married in, in Alabama. I think in Leeds, L-E-E-D-S, Leeds, Alabama. Hi, Susan Baker. She lives in Warrior, Warrior, Alabama. You know, I didn't even think about that. You know, tomorrow night is family night again, so maybe I would mention that. Mention that, but then we've got nine people. If you know, it would have to be something that would sleep nine people. Although we do not, although we, oh, yeah, the gas in the RV would be outrageous too. Yeah, that is true. So, Tina, you ordered too, you silly girl. But anyhow, yep, that's that's what we're gonna do, and that's like an adventure because we don't go places. We're pretty much stick in the muds here. We just stay at home and we don't do a whole lot. And so our planning to go to Alabama, which it's about a 12 hour drive. Um, yeah, nine people is a lot, but we're gonna, it's going to be such an adventure. Camping, bring a tent. Yeah, right. <laughs> we do have a 10-guy tent, a 10-man tent. But I'm not sure at the end of July if I would want to sleep in a tent. And then getting ready to go to a wedding in a tent. Yeah, I don't think that works. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, somebody would have to. I think to drive an RV, you'd probably have to have one of them, like, chauffeur's license or whatever they call them. Yeah. So. Mm. Well, anyway, I got to the. Kids in the den. Yeah. We have a two-year-old that's going. Yeah. Mary Jane ordered it yet? Holy moly, girls. Okay, well, I'll have them out in the mornings to mail. Yeah, I, sleeping in a tent is... We, we had the tent. My son's wedding, he got married in November. And they had a country wedding. And they had tents all over the places. So many people slept over in tents. Me and Papa, we went home. We didn't sleep. The kids, most all the kids slept in tents. That way, because they were, it was like they, they had a, their drink of choice was mead, which I guess is some kind of a wine or something. So they made sure everybody had um, a place to crash for the night. Yeah, I don't want to sleep in a tent in July. I used to, we used to camp a lot. And I loved camping. And we always did rough camping out in a tent. Loved it. Actually, we asked them already at, um, where was it? The rental place and they said no you don't need a special license to drive this van so oh fire ants too oh my gosh yeah i'd have to have an air conditioned air conditioned tent but um um my son my youngest son when he was in iraq they had air conditioned tents because they were in tents, but they were the heavy canvas, real heavy canvas tents, but they were air conditioned. So you can air condition a tent, apparently. <sighs> okay, girls. Um, 
I'm not one that can stay up too long. My feet, when I sit here too long, my feet turn into footballs. So then I got to get in the bed and prop the old feet up. And now that my daughter, see, I have this daughter. Well, I have three daughters. But one of the, my daughters is a nurse. And she just started school again so she can become an ARNP. But she thinks she's like a brain surgeon already. But she bosses me around a lot. She comes home, when she comes over, she takes my blood pressure and feels to see how much swelling I have. And she's a real pain in the badoonie. But um, so yeah, I got to make sure I keep my feet up so that they don't swell. So when she comes over, then she doesn't have to yell at me. And uh, I don't like her to yell at me. And but you know how that goes. Old age. Okay, you know, I am going to have to go. But do you know what? For those of you who haven't seen my videos before, I always end. Just a minute here. I always end my videos with some words of wisdom with or some some affirmative the um what are, affirmation positive affirmations and so i can't change i can't change it now so what i'm going to do is this one here i'm reading out of heart thoughts by louise hay and i'm going to open it to right here and this it says this one is about deserving. So I'm going to read, I deserve joy. We learn our belief system as very little children. Then we move through life experiencing, creating experiences to match beliefs. Many of you believe that you deserve to leave, live in an atmosphere of not good enough. Start doing affirmations that reflect what you really deserve. State that you are willing to go beyond your parents and your own early childhood limitations. Look in the mirror and say to yourself, I deserve all good. I deserve to be prosperous. I deserve joy. I deserve love. Open your arms wide and say, I am open and receptive. I am wonderful. I deserve all good. I accept. That's a very good one, girls. That one is very good. I like this one. Everyone deserves joy. Okay, I'm going to let all of you go now. And I will be back next Thursday evening, same time. And I don't know what I'm going to be doing, but I will be here doing something so i want god to watch over you every step you take every move you make and i will see you on the next video god bless